Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this is Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be doing the Shadows of the Past uh, quest that is given to us by the Chieftain in the Orc City. You get it by completing the Temple of the Sleeper which we did in the previous episode and uh, yeah. Uh, it's also uh, not that hard of a quest, but it is if you do not know what to do. So that's what we're doing this today. Uh, let's get right into it, shall we? So I am here with the chieftain, of course, and we're gonna say that we destroyed the evil in the Temple of the Sleeper. You get a Berserker Belt, and uh, you can also ask him that you he wanted a Merton Fang. And you get a quest, if you accept to do it, called Shadows of the Past. Now, he says here, the Orc Chieftain can be used to slay Nogmor, the once powerful. Uh, um, and I have, so, there are records in the Temple of the Sleeper, which I did mention in the previous episode, that uh, you have to find them. There's only two in there, but sometimes a little bit tricky to find so we're gonna go inside the temple of the sleeper again put on the light um, there shouldn't be any opponents here other than the orcs themselves which you can bypass as long as you are wearing either the uh, ulumul or their armor you can kill all of them later if you so wish uh, so the first tablet is gonna be here and the second one is going to be near the inner chamber that we passed earlier. Not earlier, sorry, in the previous episode. <clears throat> so if you go towards the inner chamber, this is the, uh, the main gate to the inner chamber that was locked. And if you check this little area, there's going to be a scroll on the, on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to read both of these things. There we go. Now we say we have to go to Xardas' tower. We're going to go to the Valley of Mines. We're going to go to the old tower. We're going to have to get rid of some of the Seekers that are there. Because this is indeed Chapter 3. Even though you can do this in Chapter uh, 2 already. We're going to summon the crate. And we're just going to one-shot these Seekers. There you go. We have a new bow. Very OP bow. And I don't have to uh, shoot them twice anymore. That's a little pun, by the way. If anybody uh, has known be me before, my name was not actually named Slivers. It was Shoot You Twice back in the day. Uh, and I thought, well, that's, that was my like teenager name. And I thought it was kind of silly. So I changed it. Uh... There we go. Uh, the book that we're looking for is on the second floor. And there's going to be one more Seeker, if not a Dark Master, actually, in here. Uh, apparently not. Weird. So this is the book we're looking for. And a piece of Magic 4 as well. We can read it now. Okay. It says now uh, that if you've already been to the Orc Cemetery... Which I have, by the way, when we were doing the quest for the uh, for the guardians. So just to show you where the actual orc cemetery is, this is the way up to the uh, stone fortress where you also meet the stone dragon. The orc cemetery, uh, however, is in the same spot as it was in Gothic One across this bridge. Well, it's not specifically in the same spot. They moved the entrance a tiny little bit. It used to be like forward. Now it's a little bit to the right here. And once you go inside, at the very end, you will see that you have to kill a uh, an undead shaman. And uh, you will get a special weapon from him. It's called the Dagger of Soth. Then you can go to the Orc City, go to the Chieftain one more time. You show him this dagger. And then he gives you the option to either you killing the ghost of of an orc that's only killable with this dagger, or you let them do it. 
So either you you can say I hope it works for you or you can kill it yourself. Of course you want to kill it yourself because well more experience, right? So we're going to go to the Valley of Mines, we're going to go to the fort which is the closest to the stone fortress. Unfortunately, there's no closer teleport. I'm just going to equip the the dagger. So it's called the Sots Sacrificial Dagger. It doesn't require much strength, just 10. Uh, and if you equip it, then uh, you're going to have to use one-handed mastery. But don't worry, if you have a lot of either dexterity or strength, you will kill this ghost with no, no issues whatsoever. I'm just going to show you where you can find them. You don't have to go all the way to the storm fortress because the uh, orc has already spawned and it's right here. He looks a little ghosty. Let me just spawn crate. I think it's on passive. No, he's on active. Okay. And we're going to talk to Nag Dumgar. And you can only kill him with this weapon. And that's it, basically. Once you're done, you'll go back to uh, to the chieftain in the Orc City. Um, yeah, teleport to the Orc City. And we get our nice reward once again. An ancient elixir of Orcs. And that's it. We will do the next part in the next video. It will be the Shadow Valley. Uh, which is also one of the harder quests. I would save this for either chapter 4 or even 5. If you're doing this on a harder difficulty. But we will do it in the next episode. Next video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video. As always. If you have any comments or questions. Leave them down in the section below. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.